us on that huge cliffhanger was not a good thing. Now all I can do is think of Emily's future and her two love interests. But is Emily staying in Paris? What will she do after that big reveal at the end of season three? Well, if we know one thing for sure, it's that season four of the series will be the most intense one yet. With no further ado, here's what we know about the forthcoming season so far. Let's start off with the fact that seasons three and four were filmed back to back. Just a fair warning, spoilers ahead. Okay, based on that wild cliffhanger, the fourth season could go in any direction. Literally, the creators could take Emily to the Balkans and it would all make sense. Emily returned with a third season this year, with Lily Collins' character being torn up between her two bosses and two love interests. Viewers were shocked by the season finale, to say the least. But you have no reason to worry, because the fourth installment of the series was given a green light prior to the release of season three. In fact, the fourth season of Emily in Paris was ordered nearly two years ago, with Netflix ordering both seasons three and four in January 2021. What's even better is that Variety reported that the two seasons were filmed back to back in France at the start of 2022, which means that we won't have to wait too long to see the continuation of the series. And the rest of it? Your feelings for me? This only brings us to a potential release date. While Netflix is yet to confirm a release date for season four, we can take a guess based on the release dates of the previous seasons. The first installment dropped on the 2nd of October, 2020. Season two came out on the 22nd of December, 2021. And season three was released on the 21st of December, 2022. You see, there's a pattern. We have a strong feeling that season four would drop on Netflix sometime in December, 2023. Yeah, I know that's a long time. And the best thing we can do while waiting for the series continuation is go through every possible theory we have about Emily, Gabrielle, Mindy, and well, the rest of the super engaging characters. But is Alfie coming back? Well, he has to, right? I mean, Emily in Paris wouldn't have been so successful without him. Ashley Park, Mindy, Lucas Bravo, Gabriel, Camille Raza, Camille, Samuel Arnold, Julian, and Bruno Guri, Luke. So they are all expected to return and reprise their roles. The most essential character this season was, however, Lucien Laviscount's Alfie. Our beloved Alfie decided to leave Emily after Camille told him everything about her and Gabriel's feelings for each other. Darren Starr, the creator of the series, did an interview with TV Guide, and in the interview, he said that Alfie is definitely coming back because he still has unfinished business with the protagonist. Per a report by Netflix, it's time for you to smash that like button, you know, if you haven't done it already. <laughs> there is, however, a cast member that won't return. At least, that's what most reports claim. Kate Walsh is the actress we're talking about. In the third installment, her character, Madeline, shuts down the branch and returns to Chicago, which makes us believe her arc in the series is over. Now, let's get into some surprising plot details, shall we? So the third installment of the series practically focused on one very complicated love triangle. In this season, Emily tried her best to get out of the love triangle she created by mistake with Gabriel and Alfie. The biggest surprise comes at Gabriel and Camille's wedding when the bride suddenly walks out. As Camille decides to point out Emily and Gabriel's love for each other at her own wedding, another bombshell gets dropped in the finale. In the final minutes, viewers discover that Camille is pregnant with Gabriel's baby. And now we have no idea what'll happen with the baby, what Camille will do, and of course, who Emily will end up with. What about Alfie? Is he going back to Emily? Gabriel is definitely in a complicated situation now. Collins recently told People she was relieved that there will be a fourth season because not continuing the series after all those cliffhangers would have been hell. Show creator Darren Starr also talked about those cliffhangers, telling Deadline that the next installment will be much more intense and dramatic. Okay, now we really need to panic. I mean, how much more dramatic could it get? As mentioned before, there are hundreds of theories about the plot for season four online, and it seems like most fans agree that Gabriel will open a restaurant in Greece. Since Camille finally realized some things she should have realized a long time ago, Gabriel now has zero chances to ask for forgiveness. 
I mean, if she goes back to him, well, that would make zero sense. His intentions were to marry Camille, work at his famous restaurant in Paris, and, well, take care of her and their kid. But now that the mother of his kid plans to run away to Greece with her girlfriend, and Gabriel would obviously want to raise his kid, or watch his kid as often as he can, he could come up with an idea to open up a restaurant in Greece. Don't you think this is a potential storyline for season four? But what about those Eurovision plans? To be honest, this is the storyline I'm most excited about. In a recent interview with Entertainment Weekly, Darren Starr talked about what we can expect from season four. And as expected, he opened up about Mindy's Eurovision Song Contest entry. When the publication asked Darren whether Mindy and Benoit will be heading to Eurovision in season four, Starr said, quote, yes, I hope so, adding that they have a really wonderful Eurovision-worthy song that can be quite competitive. Okay, but season four really looks quite promising. And as Lily Collins teased, the season three finale made fans, quote, wish there was a season four right away. When asked about the love triangle that was the biggest focus of the recently dropped installment, Lily told Entertainment Weekly that it all kind of blows up in the finale. And since there were about five different things that happened in the span of just a few minutes, the fourth installment will have a lot to deal with. I'm just wondering how the creators will squeeze all those stories into just one season. Maybe they'll do an extended installment. What do you guys think? The biggest question, though, is whether Camille will give birth in season four. You see, when someone gets pregnant in a TV show, the creators take the chance and drag the storyline as long as possible. So no, we don't expect Camille to give birth in the fourth installment. Darren Starr told Elle.com, that the three seasons of Emily in Paris so far have covered six months, so he doesn't think this baby is coming necessarily in season four. Remember that Madeline was at the beginning of her pregnancy at the start of the series? She gave birth in season three. Now, let's get into more details about another love triangle. The Emily Gabriel Camille love triangle is quite complicated now because there's a fourth member, a baby. Okay, so in the finale, we saw Camille and Gabriel break up at their very own wedding. We saw Emily and Alfie break up after Camille's big reveal, and we discovered that Camille is pregnant with Gabriel's child. Star told Entertainment Tonight that the pregnancy will have a major influence on the further plot of the series. In fact, he said the pregnancy will complicate Gabriel and Emily's relationship and their love for each other. As mentioned before, the creator also confirmed that he will take his time when it comes to viewers seeing the baby. Season four will instead focus on Gabriel, his dream of becoming a father, and, well, his complicated relationship with Emily and Camille. Per a report by Netflix, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> Oh, seriously, if you ask me to come up with a potential conclusion to the series right now, I'll think of nothing because I can't even see where the creators are going with this baby storyline. Who do you guys think Emily will end up with in the end? Let us know. See you in the next video.